so what's up YouTube day one for real at half a day yesterday so I'm gonna call this day one that was day half just coming out of this place San Clemente's little inn by the beach it's nowhere near the beach uh, the beach is somewhere over there past the freeway I don't know if you can see that that's the freeway highway 5 big ass noisy road but it didn't bother me I knew what it was like because what I use is Google Maps I place a little man and I have a little walk around before I book a hotel so I know what's around that's the main reason I booked this hotel I fancied coffee and donuts in the morning and I have to say their coffee and donuts is absolutely spot on here's the ride this is a Harley Davidson street guide I've got this handles like a piece of shit I have to admit it's got a completely uh, square back tire it's done 16,000 miles so i assume most of that's been in a straight line i'm now about to take it up into the mountains highway 74 go and meet ghost ninja and kenny so let's get on with the ride now on welcome back we are now on the ortega highway highway 74 this is one of the roads i've wished to ride the full length of since I've been coming over to California. I've done bits of it up to Idlewild from uh, Banning, the other side, Palm Springs, Palm Desert, whichever way it comes up. I've done that side a bit, but I've never done this side. Uh, I'm not sure how the Harley Davidson is going to handle these twisty roads, but we will see. I've got the twistiest and highest route possible programmed in the GPS. So we'll see what happens. So far, I'm enjoying it. I've been on this road for about five miles, something like that, and the Harley Davidson's handled itself pretty well. Uh, you know where the ground clearance is. I put my uh, feet on the edge of the footboards. That way I know when, <laughs> when the floor's coming up in the bends, basically, and I can drift a little bit wider. It's not the greatest handling bike. We all know that. It's long wheelbase. The tyres are pretty poor. The suspension's pretty poor. But I'm having, I suppose, some kind of fun. I wouldn't call it exciting, but it's chilled out fun. I'm enjoying myself, I'm relaxing, I'm getting to see the countryside. And there's something about the beauty of going a little bit slower where you get to see something that makes it worthwhile. If I was on, I was gonna say a proper bike then, if I was on a, a different bike, I'd probably be doing this at least 20, 30 miles an hour quicker than I am. I'm having to adjust my riding style, I'm having to lay back a little bit, chill out, let the road come to me rather than forcing it into the bends. But I'm enjoying it. The bike is an absolute pig in traffic. It's horrible at low speeds, but cruising along like this, do you know what, it's not half bad. I've had it for a half day yesterday, did 70 miles on this yesterday. That was all through LA traffic and uh, stop start down highway one. So that was a real pain in the ass. Plus I was tired from the flight, the uh, eight hours time difference. But I've had a good night's sleep now. I've had a nice couple of donuts. They were fantastic donuts I had this morning and a nice double espresso at the donut shop that was across the way from the hotel. So that was a good start to the day. So now I'm filled up with sugar, Red Bull and coffee and I'm raring to go. So I'm going to enjoy these mountains. I'm really, really, really looking forward to this road. And uh, halfway up, I'm going to meet up with Ghost Ninja and maybe K6 Kenny. And then we're going to ride into Palm Springs later today. I'm going to keep the GoPro going as long as I physically can. I've got about three, four batteries with me. So we shall see how long it's going to last. Don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm glad you're along for the ride. So please enjoy. Go up at 70 miles an hour. This crash helmet is trying to rip itself off my head with the wind blast. It hits right under the peak and like a donut. I didn't take it off. I was meant to take the peak off last night. But do you know what? I was so tired, I just collapsed on the bed. I was meant to go out for dinner with Sub D. I organized to go out for dinner, but it got to about eight o'clock, which was four o'clock in the morning for me. I'd been up for 24 hours and I bailed. I couldn't do it. There's no way I could have ridden these roads in the dark on this bike without sleeping for 24 hours. It would have ended in disaster. So I bailed out of dinner. Sorry, Mr. Sub D, I do apologize. We shall hopefully meet up sometime today or tomorrow. We'll definitely meet up sometime today or tomorrow because I'm heading down to Palm Springs to your bloody meetup. Now I've got used to this bike. I'm, I'm liking it more and more.
big old lump's doing better than I thought it would. I thought I'd hate it a lot more than this. It takes a hell of a lot of concentration to get it down these roads though. It's not easy, trust me, it's not easy. There's nothing in the Harley Davidson brochure that will say this is flickable, that this handles really well. I mean, I don't know, probably it handles really well for this type of bike, but not for what I'm used to. This is Lake Elsinore. So this is where Vroom Vroom Dana and that hanging around and do all their off-road mountain riding shape so coming through those mountains just then i can see why they do it there's some really good tracks off the side of these roads obviously you can't do it on this but if i'm a little crf 250 i'd love to go and have a go not that i'm good at riding off-road i'm pretty terrible at it but it'll be fun to try so this is lake elsinore this is up in the mountains it's nice up here it's nice because it's chilled but it's still hot that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but I think you know what I mean. I quite like Lake Elsinore. There's bits of it that are a bit weird, but on the whole, although it's very quiet, it's got a nice vibe. Or is it just a creepy vibe? I'm not sure. One of the two. Whatever vibe it is, I quite like it. Anyway, I'm going to turn you off until I get into the hills. See you again soon. Right, welcome back. Hopefully uh, we're going to have some more nice roads. It says eight miles on this road, and it's called something Canyon Road so my hopes are high this is how chilled out i am i'm behind a prius i am behind a prius and i've got very little desire to get past him that's actually a lie i've got a great desire to get past him because I, if these roads go to single lane then i want to be in front of these cars so uh let's go out and just uh, get in front just in case well i was expecting more from this canyon road to be honest so far it's just a road it's just got the name canyon on it it's very deceiving every time i see a road with canyon on it i get a little bit excited this one's called railroad canyon road railroad canyon road it's not one to say when you're drunk is it i'm afraid it's not very picturesque at the moment well it is but in the background the roads are pretty i don't know i like that the roads are pretty nice and smooth they're not fun just nice easy ride I suppose it suits this bike down to the ground. <laughs> fucking big, man. You have a little warm, man. How you doing? How are you? Get on your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get gone. Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong But you did me wrong, so go ahead and